Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for joining me on a Sunday. Thank you for joining us. It always feels nice to see familiar faces. We didn't do it last week. Um, we did a different Klezmer workshop live stream, a real workshop over Zoom with Accordion Love members. Um, so this is nice. It's nice to be back. That was nice as well, but it's nice to have everyone in the room. Um, we'll take an hour and a bit to talk through accordion things. Um, I'll answer questions. I always monitor the chat. Uh, what else do, What else happens? I'm working towards... Um, I'm going to be performing at the Powell River Accordion Festival. And I need to perfect a few songs. And that's not my usual. Yesterday, um, I played... A, Anyways, that's what we'll do today. I'll, I'll get to the spiel uh, in a few minutes. Thank you for joining. If you're new here, ask questions. There are lots of helpful people uh, on the chat. Hello, Nora. Hello, Joe Dottillo. Hello, Marie. Uh, you're in a sweater. Seems a bit chilly out there. This week, it's supposed to be warm. Um, right now in the mornings, I don't know what the temperature is. It's seven or eight degrees outside. Um, so the sweater. But underneath the sweater, a different accordion love shirt. Um, Throughout the day, it'll get a bit warmer. It's not Florida. Um, good. Uh, so yesterday, yeah, let me start off with not a story. I love my, my ideal gigs. The ideal event that I like to play is something that I did yesterday. I played at a winery. I do this every year. There's a winery down the street. Um, and they open up their winery where they brew the wine. I don't know what it's called. Where all the big vats are and the main winemakers there. And it's a big warehouse and they invite their members to, to see how things are done and try the new wines. And and I get to play music. And there's a beautiful reverb in there. And it's a three-hour event. And I love it. I, I was telling Kate yesterday, I didn't even prepare for this event. I put on my accordion. I showed up and whatever songs come out, come out. Why I love this kind of event is I, is no one is paying attention to me and I just get to fill the air with music. What I mean by no one is paying attention is I could start songs like this. Um, I'll do Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I could start like this. Um. And I made a mistake there, and I'm not sure if I was the right first note. And that's okay, because I have three hours to play. And the people are doing something else. And they're paying attention to the music, but not to every note. So I love that kind of event. Everything that I teach is for those types of events. Not everything. 90% of what I teach. It's like the easy-sounding French music. I could do the major sevenths. I don't know what song to play. <laughs> No problem. Hello, Frida. Hello, Louis. Hello, Bill. I could do that all day long. The other kind of event, the d event that I need to prepare for, the event that gets my heart racing, and I used to do these, these types of events, and I'm doing one in two weeks. I remember playing the national anthem for the governor general. Uh... And it had to be right. I remember playing uh, the bride's waltz or the song for the bride as she walked down the aisle at a wedding. I'm going to be playing um, on stage in an auditorium. And the difference is, at an event like yesterday, there's conversation. It doesn't matter what the first note is. It doesn't matter what the rhythm is. In the event where you're playing the anthem, a song that everyone expects at an auditorium, there's silence. And I'm the one that's going to speak with my instrument. And then the beginning is so important. And after a while, people might tune out a little bit, but it's that first note, A, that makes me nervous, and that requires practice, and that requires intent on how to say it. So again, yesterday's event, a little bit, not less intention, but there's more variation for how to start. Again, Summer Over the Rainbow could have started like this. Um. To 
totally cool. Hi, my mom from Toronto. Uh, at the Powell River Accordion Festival, or if I'm to perform that on stage. Wrong note. Oh, it, it, it killed me, right? Uh, that was unintentional. But everyone's like, oh. Now, maybe I'm telling myself that story, but again, it's part of the story of the performance. So what I want to do today, that was a long-winded introduction. I'm going to be playing some klezmer pieces at the Pal River Accordion Festival, May 5th and 6th. Um, I'm going to be playing them with Walter Martella, who's a very, very talented musician. I watched him and Karina performing last year. They are, they're, they are fantastic at commanding that stage attention, at those types of performances, as well as the other performances. Um, so I've been preparing klezmer pieces. More so, how do I play them so that the audience comes along, so that I'm respectful to the audience and the time that they're putting in and the attention that they're putting in to present the song in a nice way. So we'll do that. Um, yeah, and I think that's what we'll do. Um, and then, hello, Mia, good to see you. Um, so, so let's start off with that. So I'm going to be playing a, uh, a duet with Walter. I'm going to be playing, I'm assuming, um, maybe I'll start off with the songs that are not duets, but I'm going to be playing Odessa Bulgarish with Walter. I've never played these songs with him. I'm going to come a few hours early and we're going to practice. Hello, John. And I'm going to be playing Silver Wedding. Uh... <laughs> But I don't think we're going to start it like that. Same as Odessa Bulgarish. I don't know. I don't think I want to start it like that. That's starting at 100. I've been practicing it, starting it with a doina, right? How I'm going to do that with someone else, I don't know. But, but let's work through it. So... Again, the idea is I come up on stage. I'm thinking of uh, Nikolai Bind's tips. Um, let's practice a little bit. So I've been playing it with a doina, right? I'm in D minor, the song. Um,
<clears throat> I really like the introduction, and I'd love to hear your thoughts. Hey, Richard, amazing that you played at the uh, Florida Accordion Club, the Orlando Accordion Club. Huge. That's huge. That's amazing. What songs did you play? Um, you were very nervous. A hundred percent. I think the nervousness prepares us to so that we don't show up making too many mistakes. I think it's natural to be nervous. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this performance. What I've been doing is recording myself, which I don't think I could do now, and listening to what I do to see what sounds good to me if I'm the audience. I really like that doina in the beginning, right? That little... It changes all the time. I like the beginning, the... And I like the slow rhythm in the beginning, the... And I'm not sure once we start to do the, I enjoy the... I think I switched voices, right? I did. And we started to increase the tempo. And then we did the oompa oompa. To me, that part seems okay. And then the... Thank you, Liz. Um, da -da -da -da. Yeah, I I'll play it again. Um, yeah, amazing, Richard. And Richard, what you're saying is true usually. <clears throat> you forgot to enjoy, right? When you're up there, the joy will come from the performance. My, I could speak to myself. I love the events like I did from yesterday. Mer imagine, Richard, it's like, I'm going to pay you some money. I got paid in wine, which is the best. Um, come play for an hour in the garden. There's nervousness, but... I, I was there with a smile, looking around. There were a few dogs. I enjoy looking at dogs. I enjoy trying to see when people recognize a song, if I can get a smile. I played... Uh... That put a smile on my face, and I saw a few heads turn for the Mario music. Um, yeah. The other thing with this Klezmer song is I'll be playing it with Walter who I've never played with before in a duet, especially this song. I've sent him a recording of it. So how do we take turns on that song, right? Right? Am I just doing... He's playing the melody and I'm doing... And then do we both go? In which case I should do the harmony, wouldn't that be nice? Sorry, so, so lots of ideas. I'm assuming the main thing to do is to be prepared to know the song um, and to know how to play with other people, which I, I think I'm good at. I'm just gonna, I got a new loop pedal. I'm gonna, you could hear everything. I'm gonna play, uh, I'm going to loop the, the melody and just do the background accompaniment. So if Walter is doing one, two, three, da, 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 let's do a little bit of a tempo. Um, it's a bit loud, but that's okay.
Down. Do a harmony here. Wrong harmony. What do I like? <clears throat> Playing with someone else? Uh, a, this is like so exact. It's very predictable because I recorded the melody. Playing with another human will add that element of uncertainty, which I'm assuming the, the crowd really likes and uh, the musician will really like. Some things I liked, I agree with you, Wendy. The part that was the... Right, the, the harmony too. And the harmony, I'm just playing the third above, right? I'm playing... Yeah, I'm playing... 
paying attention to those sharps and flats. I like the, I like the space of uh, the silence. During the fast part, I like the, I like the, so I like, I'm looking forward to this being a duet. I don't know how a doina, I don't know how we'll start it as a duet, but maybe we'll work on that. I always play standing up in a performance because it, it, uh, it gives me energy and I communicate a lot with my body to the other performer. Like this, sitting down, my leg is bouncing up and down, but standing up, I'm kicking, I'm letting them know with my shoulders and leaning into them or leaning back. Um, I'm a physical performer. Yeah, th did you like that, Wendy? I went to this voice. I don't know how it sounded. It, f it felt too high to me with that... I didn't enjoy the musette sound on the klezmer. Maybe with this, I'm playing uh, the lower and middle. So maybe this one. I like that a lot. So so yes, I'll, I'll do that. Let's do Silver Wedding. Um, Freilich number three, Silver Wedding. Uh, hi, Didi. Good to see you. Uh, let's try Silver Wedding. I'm going to play it solo first, as though I needed to play it solo. I think it's important to prepare both on the day of the event. Who knows what will happen? Um, how does it go? Uh, da -da 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 -da. I'm going to again start with a doina, and we'll see where it goes. And in my doina, what I'm doing, I'm trying to build the song. That's building a song. Um, remember that we could play the root. So we, ha I have different voices. I have a big voice. I have a medium voice with a strong oom and a low pa. And I have a super soft voice without a strong oom. I start off with the smallest voice that I have. And remember that even among the small voice, I could separate the oom from the pa. So I'm playing a D7 chord without the root. And over that, using a single reed, my lowest reed, I'm playing that. To another root, to the G minor. And I'm just playing the klezmer scale in D major that we learned about last week in the klezmer workshop. That's so klezmer. I'm going to introduce the root here. Hi, Janice. There.
Yeah, I like it. I'm excited to do these as duets. I'm going to do the same thing as last time, which is record, record that performance, just the melody. And I have lots of ideas about accompanying it. I really like that. Right? I, I like that accompaniment. So let's try it. Um, let's do another click track. Um, That's the old one. Sorry, it's loud. Uh, one, two, three, four, one, two. What are we doing? We're doing the melody for Silver Wedding. That's very fast, but that's okay. Got it. for now.
nice things. Nice ideas. Bokatov, Alejandro, and Ati Ben Simon. Um, I think the Powell River Accordion Festival, someone will record it. Um, that someone might be me. <laughs> um, um, I, I'll, I'll record it no matter what, but I'm assuming someone will record the performance and it might be live streamed. I'm not sure. I think there are a lot of nice ideas. Playing it solo feels slightly limited. I love playing with my loop pedal and with bells and shakers. Um, can seventh chords be broken into long arpeggio? Yes. I don't use them in my playing, but let's say the D7. Right, that C. Yes. So you could do... Um, there's a D7, right? I use it. A long arpeggio, yeah, we could do it. Um, let me do long arpeggios over that song. Uh, fast for me but it's a fantastic way Richard good question if more than one person's playing accordion even three I'm assuming in accordion orchestras if it's a slower song one person could just be practicing their arpeggios oh, you know what this new loop pedal I think I could play with a tempo um, I know it's weird. You could play arpeggio. Sorry, that, that ruined the recording, but that's okay. Um, yes. Can seven chords be broken into long arpeggios? If yes, do you use them in your playing? Not in my solos. The only time I use trides and arpeggios, let's say in Vals Damali, D minor to A minor, after playing a bit of... I could do... So I might do... My one note that I was gonna make was when, I don't wanna step on the melody. So if I'm playing with someone, with Walter, and he's going, he's playing, there are already a lot of notes. When I'm accompanying, I'm just using the one and the five, the D, A, D, A, D, D, A, D, A, D, 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 D right? And then the part where he goes, it's a little bit longer, so there I might do... I've been mirroring him, because there's enough space. So he does... I do... He does... And then I do the harmony with him. So maybe in the... I'll continue that as the seventh arpeggio. Right? Lots of ideas, but careful about stepping on the melody. On a song like, let's do that Vals d'Amelie. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Because it's a bit longer, I could do... And both are okay.
right? And that's okay. Um, I need to make a better delete key for this loop pedal. Good. You can also try making some rhythms with your feet. Yeah, I, I would like to, but it's mind fo Yeah, <laughs> mind foking. <laughs> Good, so those are du the duet songs. Sorry, I said that this would be a customer workshopping and we're really workshopping these songs. Last question is, what song do I play? I, I sent an email this morning around like, is it just uh, is it just those two songs that we're gonna be performing together or do I get solo time? And if I get solo time, I was thinking about doing tradition. Tradition to Eshet Chayl. Let me show you what I was thinking about. It's all, I've been playing these songs all the same. So, which of your accordions are you taking to the festival? My red accordion is there, but this... I'm gonna give it to Martin. I was gonna super glue it tomorrow, but this thing... Um, this bit that connects the straps to the accordion, there are two screws. One of the screws is coming out, has come out, and so the air leaks from it. And I'm terrified of it ripping off. So yesterday in my gig, I brought, I played with this accordion and brought my red accordion as a backup. Um, I'll give it in to Martin for a pair. I'm gonna play with probably this accordion. Now, what's happened before in accordion festivals, it happened at Leavenworth, and it happened at Powell River last year, is Martin usually brings 30, 40 accordions. He, he has his work, his he repairs accordions on site and does accordion sales. And so I'll walk around and see an accordion and Martin, because he's a really nice guy, will be like, do you want to use it? So probably I might try an accordion right before the show and switch it up. But part of me thinks I'm going to use this one because I know the sounds really well. And my fingers know how to switch between the master and these guys. But who knows? <laughs> Oh, so my solo might be... I, I, I was thinking of doing a... This song sounds a bit dead, but I was thinking about doing tradition, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I, the klezmer is out of me now. I don't want to play it. Um, Freshy, do I have a list of songs that sound good on the accordion? A lot of songs do. Songs that are melody forward will sound nice. Um, what do I mean? It's a good question. Find a song that you like and make it accordion friendly. Uh, I, I was gonna show you, let me share my screen. On Accordion Love, a wonderful site run by uh, a very funny fellow. Uh, if you go to the lessons, I should name this lessons and songs. All the songs that I cover I think sound good on the accordion. Uh, so think of a song that you like and it'll sound okay on accordion. These are all, putting on my screen, 
Italian songs, French songs, Jewish songs, all the klezmer songs that I've played are like accordion songs. But the biggest section on accordion love are these TV, movie, video game, popular songs, the Beatles. These all sound really nice on the accordion. Um, Thomas the Tank Engine is not a song for the accordion. But does it sound great on the accordion? Yeah. <laughs> I'm obviously gonna... It's not an accordion song, but it sounds really, really nice. Um, so it's up to you to learn how to take songs that you hear, whether it's a Bob Dylan song, a TV theme song, a song that's obviously not written for the accordion, and put your own voice into it. Um, that's my spiel. Uh, all songs sound really nice on the accordion. I can't play I Have an Aguila. Um, there's a Klezmer Reel book over on the internet, 100%. Um, Alejandro, I wish I knew more Brazilian stuff. Sorry, uh, I don't. I played in a fajo band, uh, but never solo accordion or Latin rhythms or reggae. Um, do -ta -ti -ta 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 -ta. Doug says it well. Everything can sound good on any instrument. I could make the... I make the banana shaker sound good with, with uh, the recorder. Right, it all depends on your ability to to make it good. Um, th th there's some sort of expression like give a really good camera, give a cell phone camera to a good photographer, and he'll make the uh, uh, I, I, yeah he'll he'll make it better than if you gave him a really fancy uh, camera. Hello, Pete. Connie, you're going to your first accordion festival next month. Amazing. There'll be a jam session. Can you please provide some pointers for first-time jammers? Uh, use your ears. That's the biggest, biggest thing. In a jam, in a jam, a jam happens when a few people get together and, and play together. Since this is an accordion festival, I'm assuming there'll be lots of accordions. I haven't jammed too much with lots of accordions. I jammed with my friend, uh, with my new friend uh, at the Leavenworth Festival. I'll let the person play. So some pointers, know the key that you're playing in and know the chord changes. Ideally, they're written down. It says C to F to G, okay. And you're gonna listen and watch the person. So they're gonna play You Are My Sunshine. Let's have a jam on You Are My Sunshine in C major. So C major, C major. It goes to F, back to the C. It goes to F, back to the C. 
Please don't take C to G to the C. So in your mind, you're like, okay, so there's C to F to C. Let the jam happen a few times and figure out those chords, C to F to G. And then slowly, so again, we're using our ears the most and maybe our eyes to see like that's what the person's doing. Are they just doing this, C to F? Or are they doing some crazy movement? And then start to introduce a hand quietly. Just like when I figure out songs by ear, here you're right there live. And you could say, hey, wait a minute, like you're going to the D minor. Or start to be like, you are my sunshine, there's my C major. So start to add your own flavor into it, but very quietly. That's how I do it. So someone's playing you are my sunshine, that's when I'll be like, okay. Da -da -da. There, I found the melody. It's C major, they're going to the F. There's my F to C. So I'm practicing my F to the C, trying to fit into the rhythm, into the tempo. Connie, you are a, you know your chords, you know your rhythms. Uh, see how you can contribute. So someone's playing You Are My Sunshine. Uh, one, a two, a three. Ba, 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 ba. jam circle what do you do the left hand's being covered I'm just gonna try my right hand C major I like that I'm expressing the chords with two of my fingers I'm playing the melody above. So again, listen as much as possible. The be most beautiful thing is someone might say, okay, I'm going to leave out my left hand. Connie, you take over. In which case you do, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Just the pops. Ba -da -ba 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 -da 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 -da. And I love using my hand communicating. So if it's your first accordion jam session, look, look to see who you're with. Look to see the skill level of the other people. Um, match your skill level to the other people. There are some accordion circles where I'm I'm never going to come in, um, where I'm extremely intimidated because you, they're using jazzy chords, and and in which case I need to like maybe contribute if I can if I know they're in G minor I'm just like I'm just trying to fit in individual notes. If I'm the one leading the circle, I want to make sure that if it's your turn at the jam circle, and they're like, "Honey, play a song that you know." Choose a a song that has predictable chords, like You Are My Sunshine, like whatever it is, a song that you know. And um, yeah, and, and, and play it and leave room for other people. Don't eat up all the parts. Yeah. Hello, Rika. Good to see you. Uh, Mia, I don't think I'm going to go to Leavenworth again this year. I think that Powell River will be my only accordion festival. Um, should I say this? Yeah, I think it's okay to say this. I, so we, 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 uh, I went to three accordion festivals last year, two accordion festivals. Um, I didn't go to Kotati. I would still like to go to Kotati to meet people. Um, I would love to run my own workshop, I think. Um, I'm running my own Klezma workshop at Powell, at Powell River. Um, I'd love to run my own weekend 
or afternoon session somewhere. Leavenworth was Leavenworth was a beautiful place. It was wonderful to meet you and two other people or three other people that were accordion friends and to play outside. Um, it was a big way to go. It's a long trip to go off Vancouver Island. Um, I would love to do a music festival here with accordion love students, with people, right? Uh, with people that I know to sit down for two days or for an afternoon um, in a city that's very accessible um, and, and, and do accordion stuff. Um, so, so no, I'm not going to go to Leavenworth this year. I don't think I'm going go to go to Cotati either. Martin's going. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do the music festivals, uh, this summer. I'd love to run my own accordion love w workshops where I, I'd love to go to London and Paris and wh where, where you people are, um, to sit down even with a few students and just to do a cool workshop, not this summer. Um, but I, I am enjoying these, the accessibility of online workshops over Zoom is really friendly, friendly to the environment. It's not cost prohibitive. Um, there was something beautiful about seeing people in real life that can't be reproduced online, but to learn an instrument, I think uh, is really cool to sit down online with three or four people and do those really intense sessions, maybe over the course of a few hours. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been, anyways, yeah, I, I'm totally into it. I think it's easier, again, I'm thinking about, the, it's it's prohibitively expensive to, to get seven people to fly into somewhere and then to rent a car and to rent a hotel room. It's easier for me to get to place to place, for me to come to a central city, somewhere in the east coast of the states, the west coast of the states, somewhere central in Canada, like Toronto, and for us to get together, whoever lives there, somewhere in Florida, southern United States, somewhere in London, in Paris, Berlin, wherever it is, and and run those kinds of workshops where, yeah. Anyways, Kate's into it too, so so that's that's another uh, a thing that might happen. Um, good. Anyways, I will, be at, I, will, I will be at the Powell River Music Festival. And Connie, I'm scared as well because I want to play with other accordion players. I think some players are intimidated by me. Oh, Mia, Mia, when we got together at Leavenworth, I'm, uh, Mia didn't even have an accordion. I'm like, here's an accordion. Uh, let's play Vals d'Amelie. And Mia played a beautiful... in the right key, not this one. And I'm coming in in the background, just going, playing the wrong chords. Right, just supporting that melody with oompas, but it was, it was scary, I think, right? I had a smile on the, the entire time, but I don't want to step on toes. But it's just like, we're all learning to dance. And it's just like, how do we dance together? We listen, we don't dominate too much. Um, but it's just, how do we play around? Good. <laughs> yeah, I was nervous too, but it went well. 100%. 100%. Richard, yes. Great question. When I play bass with staccato, how do we play each note sharp and clear? Does it have to do with a bellow tension? Has to do with bellow tension and the sharpness with which we press. So if you have your accordion with you now or after the live stream, see how much effort is required to play the tone staccato. The bass can be long, but just the... I just have to press a little bit to get a sound. I don't need to lift up my hand like that, but just a little bit, right? The the difference is very, very minimal. That's all you need to do. You could introduce a... I'm keeping tension on the bellows, practice bringing it in and coming out. Right now I'm bringing it in. Try major with your other finger. 
that's how you play staccato and sharp. Not every song requires staccato and sharp. Practice different tempo. It's easier if it's slower. Practice switching. In. I'm giving a little bit more of a push for that. But yeah, pra practice bellow control very slowly to, to get as staccato as possible. And just like when we do hand coordination, use your right hand or your voice or your humming to do the melody, because I think that introduces another element to it, right? very very minimal and the bellow tension part yeah I am pulling a little bit with my wrist to keep the bellows tight and again my entire position is active I'm not slouched I'm I'm definitely not sitting back in my chair like that um, if I'm standing up I'm like I'm ready to fight um, <laughs> to fight in a friendly way Alejandro yes there's a mark on the a flat and a mark on the e on all my accordions. Yes, on most of the accordions. There's the C, E, and A flat. Laker. Oh, lacquer. Uh, it has an actual diamond. Uh, like an, a real diamond. It's not a real diamond. It has a little gem. A plastic gem. Uh, does this show up on camera? It's not going to focus. There's a nice gem, a nice gem, a nice gem. Hugo, all my accordions, do I have another 120 bass? I don't have, no. This is an accordion from 1960 something. Um, most accordions, I, I don't know, all the accordions that I've played have had a marking on C, E, and the A flat. Um, Denny from Squeeze and Thanks has a video about how to mark your accordion, whether to put a little drop of glue on the thing. You could use a drill if you're mechanically inclined to embed a little thing in it. Uh, but to put a little drop of uh, lacquer, something to designate that for your finger to feel like, oh, that's what it is. A little sticker. Um, yeah. What do I like about this accordion? This was the most inexpensive accordion that I could find. This one and the red one. Um, that had a good sound. I like, I always look for a musette. I'm really liking the single reed sound, sorry. And I like that it has multiple sounds on the left hand. You know what we'll do? Kate took the, uh, Kate took the kids. Kate went to drop off the kids, so we have a bit of time. Let me show you the, the accordions on my Facebook Marketplace. And let's see which ones have, which ones have little gems. So I just did a search for accordion here within 50 kilometers. Let's open it up to 250 kilometers. That's way too much. 100 kilometer range. Let's see what kind of accordions. Uh, there's a beautiful honer. This one, if someone's displaying their accordion like that, I'm terrified. This is a fancy one. 250 is nearby. Nanaimo. Good. Let's look to see what people are selling. What can we see? Can we see the buttons? Let's copy the image address. Let's go here. This one has a marking there. You see it's an indentation. That's the E. I don't know if it shows up for you. Um, you could see that there's a little bit of a thing there compared to where the C is. C, G, 
whatever it is, it looks like there's a marking there. Maybe not the best example, but that's okay. Uh, wanting to purchase. Okay. Uh, that's fine too. This looks like a really fancy one. And let's see if we can copy the image address and address. There's the gem on the C major. And looks like C, G, D, A, E. Maybe this one doesn't. Good question. Let's do a few more. This one's in Duncan for 250. There are no photos that will show the left hand. I gave accordion fully restored with a beautiful carding case. And this one we could see in this photo. The awesome gems. $500 is... There. This is an Estella and it has the C, E, and the A flat. And this looks like a nice accordion. This is the one that we pasted. Good. So, uh, some accordions have it, some accordions don't. Some accordions will have a different marking. This one looks like... Uh, these are two different accordions. Oh, two accordions for sale. 2,500. Missing three buttons. Uh, this is a button accordion with... Maybe the C is marked. Anyways, uh, sometimes it's marked, sometimes it's not. Um, sometimes it's marked, sometimes... Richard, thank you! Um, <clears throat> you can mark your own accordion. Good. When you have to tune all your other instruments is a weird tone to match your accordion. Uh, yeah, I, I don't tune my accordion. I hope that it comes tuned. Oh, good. And you've marked yours with the soft side of the sticky Velcro. Very good idea. You can get huge packs uh, from Home Depot, from Rona, from a home hardware store. Cut it to size. Stick it there. A little blue sticky. Something that just orients you to get that distance. Uh, let's do, uh, let's do accordion reggae. Alejandro, you asked for my take on it. Uh, let's, um, I don't play reggae. Mm -ta, -ta -ta, mm -ta. I'll show you what I would do. So there's drums. That's not reggae at all. Um. Uh, oh, this is an... Oh, cool. It added a bit of an effect. I have... Um, is this... Yeah. Um, this is... It's so creepy. It brings it an octave lower. And so I want to do the, the bass of the reggae. Boop. What, what song should we do? Uh, three Little Birds. Uh, do, 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 do. That's I want to love you and treat you right. I only know Bob Marley. Um, do, 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 da, 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 da. Sing and don't worry. Let's do it in C major. Um. So it should be sing and don't worry. There it is. That wasn't. Uh... Come on, Ronan. Sorry. Two. Oh, something's already moved. Ba, ba. One, two. Yeah.
I did blues instead of uh, Three Little Birds. But what, what I would do, if this is a reggae band, an accordion reggae band, I would do... What you say about get up stand up being the doo doo da da stand up for your right don't give up the fight so it's just C minor sorry about that All sorts of things that you could do, but over this rhythm, I would do right any rhythm, do it with your hands or do it with your mouth to feel like what is it? Do it with snapping, right? For me, it's so to, to do it all. Is tough to do it all with accordion is tough loop pedal makes it easy but if you're gonna hum or sing then I would do get up I'm not gonna do it in C minor it's too high for me I'm gonna do it in get, get up stand up stand up for your right Get up, stand up, don't give up the fight. We know what we understand. A mighty God is a living man. You can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. Now you see the right. Now you see the fight, the light. Stand up for your right.
It's like a jam in F minor. As long as you can hit the five to the F minor. A lot easier with other bands. I don't know if folks that have done solo accordion reggae, but an accordion is a nice instrument for it, right? Uh, again, I'm thinking of three little birds. Maybe not in C. Every little thing is gonna be all right. It's again too high, let's do it in F major. Saying don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing is gonna be all right. This is a little bit easier because you get the oompa. Rise up this morning, smile with the rising sun. Three little birds beside my doorstep, singing sweet songs. Their melodies pure and true, singing. This is my message to you. Ooh, ooh. Singing, don't worry. To go back to the person's question in the beginning. Oh, Freshy. What songs sound good on accordion? Once you know your instrument, um, make it, and you know how what so sounds come out of it, and it's all oompa 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 oompa. For uh, get up, stand up, it was. It's all variations on bass tone. How do we make it musical, right? Um, yeah, so, so reggae sounds good on accordion. As long as you know what your right hand's doing, what your left hand's doing, and when to play and when not to play. Thank you for listening. I know, now we need reggae accordion love. Oh, you know what I played yesterday at the gig? Um, and I got a, a stare. Um, I did um, Nancy Patterson's uh, performance from um, the Alaska Folk F Music Festival. The, um... don't remember all the parts of it. from uh, the Grand Budapest Hotel. Is it? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, Marie, thank you for the recommendation. Hugo, I've never played but an accordion. There are accordion love members, I'm thinking of Anna, who just learned the button accordion. I know there are different systems of button accordion, diatonic, chromatic. I've never tried it. It does look very pleasing. Awesome, Bill. Thank you. I really appreciate all the different styles that you're sharing with us. It's really opened my ears and helped me to experiment more with my accordion. Wonderful. That's, that's what I hope to do. Let's play a little bit more. Um, thank you for listening to the Klezmer. Next week... I'm here next week.
yeah, we should have a live stream next Sunday. Um, yeah, there's a, let me uh, tell you about Accordion Love. I run a website called Accordion Love where, where what? What happens? Accordion Love. Go to accordionlove.com. There's a free three-day trial. I know a, lo a lot of you are already members. Um, everything that I'm teaching today, how to make the accordion your own, are all here especially this level two beyond the basics. Once you learn how to where to place your fingers, these lessons beyond the basics are split into, are split into right hand technique, left hand technique, and in general, how to add interest to your playing, which is really what I'm doing today. All of these things are here on Accordion Love. Uh, you get access to it with your free three-day trial. And then the other half of the website are songs, songs divided up into genres. Um, yeah, check it out. You get access to that. You get access to the forum, which is a wonderful place to meet people from around the world. Uh, every month we have uh, songs of the, the tune of the month. Thank you, Kyle, for running that. And then, uh, oh, someone recorded Nancy playing live? Maybe the recording's there. Uh, but every month we do a monthly challenge where we apply a technique and you get to see people from around the world doing that technique. Um, and then there are um, there are some uh, workshops that we do. This is the recording from last uh, from last weekend. Familiar faces. Um, yeah, check it out. I think it's an awesome, awesome place if you're looking, if you're at all interested in learning the accordion. Again, free three-day trial afterwards. It's a monthly thing. You can cancel at any time. I encourage you to not just get the sheet music for things, but really learn how to make songs your own. <laughs> I'll play a song. Uh, I played lots of songs yesterday, which was fun. Um, let's do... Uh, I was thinking of... Not... Uh... This is the waltz from Old Boy. Rika, if you do Old Boy waltz, let me let's look for it together. Uh, old Ole, Old Boy, the Ole waltz, the last waltz, Old Boy. Uh, it's a Korean movie that I haven't watched. Oh, this is when I borrowed that big bassy honer. Um, jeez, I remember that. Uh, yeah, go check it out. Good. Check it out. Yeah, the last waltz, it's called. Um, I keep hearing a door open. 
I don't know who's here. That's fine. Um, yeah. Oh, did I share my screen? Yeah, the last waltz. The last waltz from the movie Old Boy. Now I want to play other songs from here. Oh, a Simpson song. Oh, beautiful songs. Me and Sebastian's theme. Um, so g yesterday during my gig, I pulled up this, the accordion love, um, the accordion love song list because after two hours, I was I couldn't think of any more songs and, and it was great. <laughs> like that song and the Rika I was thinking yesterday when I played the gig I was trying to do I was thinking of your summer gig that you're playing the summer garden party this was similar in that people were out and about uh, and tasting wine and I, I really like that uh, mm -ta, mm -ta. and I think uh, pure imagination is a good so sound for that come with me and you'll be in the world da -da -ba -da -da -da. I also played a uh, Radiohead uh, creep in that way. It's not a, it's a, it's a creepy song, but uh, but it was like a ba da 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 da. Kind of, I wish I was special. Again, there's a juxtaposition between how dark that song is and performing it in a light-hearted way on accordion. Um, but I was thinking of you playing in the summer garden party and and just oompaing a song makes it nice all of a sudden. Good. Uh, I don't know any trap music or tarab music, um, but thank you for your requests. Um, I want to play with that little preamp sound. I'm still exploring this uh, loop pedal. Um, and uh, not that. My kids have been using this effect. Uh, and just like yelling, but like in a really deep voice. Was it this one or this one? 
I think it's this one. It's so creepy. Uh... Anyways, I, I wanted to play more with the accordion like that. Sorry if that's creepy. Oh, someone was requesting to have an Aguila. Let's do, let's do it. I'll, I'll take, I'll take that off. Um, uh, yeah, let's do that effect though. wasn't D. Um, the loop didn't work out perfectly, but I really like that. Um... What does this do? I don't know what it does. This is reverb. Richard, you're right. The, the key center of that is G minor, right? And I'm using... I'm using the D major... Uh, I'm using that G Dorian thing. Hello, uh, Adrian. We can play it in E as well. I think we can keep going. Kate's not back yet. <laughs> um... This looks like a compressor. It, the gain is in 
increasing a bit. So I got a new loop pedal. Um, I'm actively selling my old boomerang loop pedal. I'm before I had a loop pedal that did two tracks with a background track and I had the reverb pedal and some other effects pedal. And, um, and I got one that's an old one. It's a Boss RC600 and it has six looping tracks instead of just three that I can activate on and off. And it has onboard effects as well, which is fine for what I need. So it has the reverb and the lay-in compressor and that fun octave one as well. I don't know any Cajun, uh, Denise. Hello, Denise. Um, no, I could fake Cajun, but I don't know any Cajun. Real Cajun, people who, who play real Cajun flavored music, um, I know some licks, um, but no, my, my fingers don't do, don't do that well. can we do that? Uh, uh, no, I don't know any Cajun music. I could fake, uh, let's do You Are My Sunshine in a Cajun feel. We did it in F or in G. So before I do it, let me show you what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to slide up a lot. Um, so instead of just Right, I'm gonna try and do, uh, A, I'm gonna bounce it off the bottom. And instead of just hitting the note, I'm gonna play the note below it, the semitone. There are lessons on accordion love. I'm gonna try and do. To make it a little bit dirtier, a little bit uh, looser. And then my left hand, do I'm thinking someone playing the washboard on, uh, on their thing and someone playing with the spoons. So let's try it. Again, I'm faking, I'm faking Acadian Cajun Zydeco music and someone's gonna say, that's not Zydeco, that's not Cajun. I, I know, I'm, I'm trying to fake it. Let's try it. So what? Uh,
does it go? <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that uh, blues ending that we did. Yeah, it sounds Cajunish for sure. Um, it sounds Cajunish. I have a lesson on blues accordion, and I'm taking a lot of cues from blues accordion. It's on accordion love. And that ending, right? The. It's. The ending is F sharp. Is it, Ronan? What are you doing? It's. The left hand goes. No. We're going from the D. What? It's. Yeah, we could stick that ending on it. Or we could do like a... Uh. Yeah! Um, hello, Colin! Um, it's fun to... Uh, again, faking a style does in a pinch, right? Especially if there's a Cajun band, or if there's a rock band, uh, or if there's a French musette band. Um, for me, it's like, what what does it feel like? That that accounts for so much of it. Um, and then what's the sound? Is it a very clean sound? No, it's a bit of a rougher sound. So, yeah. Does it sound like very clean and neat? Or can we use, can we slide up? Does, is there a seventh in the chords? Yeah, so that's how we that's how we fake it. Same as in reggae, right? Reggae had that. Uh, get up, stand up in G minor. Good. While no one's home, we could still keep playing. Um, thank you for sticking around. Oh, the kids are back. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> um, I'll see you next Sunday. Go to accordionlove.com. There's a free three-day trial. If you want to be notified about these live streams, you can subscribe on YouTube, or if you go to accordionlove.com on the bottom, there's a, there's an email newsletter that I send out every week with a link to this live stream, and I let you know everything else about the accordion. Have a good week. Thank you. Bye-bye.